Hi everyone, I am blind, so if you can't see my face, sorry, but I can't look in the viewfinder and know that the camera needs to be adjusted. I just had to come up and make a video because this is the second time in June, July, August, three months that I've been through this. And the first time, unfortunately, I didn't know any better and I fell for it. This time, it happened on a different device. I knew better than to fall for it. And I just want to warn everyone. If you get, you may have heard about all of this. Maybe I'm just the jerk, the, not the jerk. The jerk is the people that do this. I'm just the person behind the times that doesn't realize that these jerks do this stuff. Sometimes you'll get on the internet or you'll be doing whatever on the computer and this, <gasps> This thing pops up, your computer's gonna die, or your phone's gonna crash, or life as you know it in the technology world is gonna end. You have to do this. You have to call this phone number, or click on this website, or install this app, or something of that nature. Folks, regular person to regular person, don't fall for it. It's a scam. It's um, when it happened to me, it, they installed a program on my computer that it turned out wasn't actually harmful from what I, my understanding of it was that it wasn't really, it wasn't harmful, it wasn't a bad thing, but I really hadn't heard of the program, um, and I certainly hadn't heard of the company that this pop-up thing had me calling. And when I talked to my Commission for the Blind teacher about it, because I didn't know how this program was going to work with my special program that reads out loud the screen. And so I talked to the Commission for the Blind teacher, who is blind herself, and I said, what do you know about this program? She's like, well... It's not a bad thing. It, um, I don't remember exactly what she said, but I told her how I came upon it. I came upon it. I didn't come upon it. I had this thing pop up that the computer was being compromised or it was going to crash or something was wrong. And to stop whatever disaster was about to hit in order to avert it this has to be done um, she said okay I think your computer's been compromised we gotta get the computer company that sold it to us involved and get it taken care of and fortunately the computer program or the computer uh, company that sold it to us was able to take care of it really she thinks it was a compromise or she thinks the computer was compromised I'm hoping it wasn't I'm hoping it was really just a company saying something's wrong when nothing was really wrong it was just them using that to sell me something I didn't really need so that I would give them money um, I regret to admit that I fell for that. Today, my, the same kind of thing came up on my phone saying, oh, your phone's damaged. You've got to do this to stop it. First of all, the first clue that that wasn't necessarily legit was because, was that it said, here's what you got to do. Number one, add this installation or whatever from Google Play. Okay, this is an iPhone. Why do I need to do anything with Google Play when I'm using an iPhone? <laughs> um, but after the experience that I'd had with the Windows, on the Windows machine, I closed out of it and I called Apple. I said, is there any true danger here? And they confirmed that no, there's not any, there wasn't any danger. And sent me an article on how to like clear out the the browser settings to maybe really if anything needed to be done 
the browser settings needed to be cleared and here's how you do it like legit don't worry about giving anybody money don't download some screwy app computer user to computer user phone user to phone user here folks don't fall for that crap it, it looks, it's a it's a doomsday window, it's a doomsday dialogue box. Oh my god, your technological world is about to end. No, it's not. Just take a deep breath and call on people that you trust. Apple or whatever store you got your computer from. If there's a tech support uh, person there, Windows, something that you know is legit. And if anyone's actually watching that creates those types of garbage, I'm not at home right now, so I'm kind of being careful about what I say, but shame on you sorry sons of guns. Okay, you, I would rather spend another year looking for a good gainfully employing job than to get one tomorrow, and that so-called gainfully employing job is a 32-hour week job where I get paid to scare the pants off people so that they will give my company money when they really don't need to. Get a, get a decent job. You people that create these things and get, get money out of scared people, scare people into giving you money scare people into buying things that they don't need because you want to make a buck. Get a legit job. Get a job that you can be proud of. And if that does make you proud, then I'm glad you can live with yourself, but... Shame on you. So... That's my two cents worth on that, and really, general, everyday, modern people, don't fall for that. You're just going to end up either scammed out of money or with your system hacked or something's going to happen because you clicked on that that will leave you in a worse position than you would have been left if you would have just closed out of that. We all know about the phone calls, the emails. I knew better than to fall for that. But these random doomsday dialogue boxes that popped up on your computers and on your phones, I didn't know those popped up and I fell for it. In case you didn't know that they exist, but you haven't had the experience to fall for it yet, don't fall for it. Learn from my mistake. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.